video, we're going to take a look at Fort Clatsop and some of the trails surrounding it, coming up right after this. After we get out of the parking lot, uh, we're going to start off uh, going down the Visitor Center Loop uh, Trail. Now, this trail is uh, fairly flat. It stays up uh, at least somewhat high on the on the mountain. We're going to actually go down, down to the river as we walk along the trail. And Cheryl's using her Will C2 as she navigates the trail. I'm not sure that this uh, trail would work with a conventional wheelchair that had narrow tires because the, the surface of it is a little bit loose. It works really well with the Will C2 that Cheryl's using provided courtesy of Scoot Around. We're coming up to the junction with the, the Nettel Landing Trail, and we're gonna make the turn here and go down the, the trail toward the river. Now again, we find some st spots that are a little bit rough, and Cheryl will slow down for them. But again, you'll see the, the chair's vibrating some, but it works really well. The tires grip well enough that it's, she felt comfortable on the trail. Uh, we would go down and in a minute we'll run into some boardwalk. But we're going through some uh, old growth forest. Uh, this area is basically undisturbed. So you have ferns, uh, hemlock, uh, Douglas fir, and a variety of other trees uh, and plants. We really enjoyed it. it. Even though the day was a little chilly, it felt nice in here. It would be really nice on a hot summer day. And again, we're coming up now on a wooden walkway, which we'll stay on for most of the trip down to the river because we'll go over some swampy areas and some areas that'll have uh, you know, water flowing underneath them. All of this area is a part of the Lewis and Clark National Historic Park. Uh, the fort itself is a reconstruction of the fort built by Lewis and Clark expedition during the winter of 1805 to 1806. Their expedition was known as the Corps of Discovery, and it was funded by the government to explore the newly acquired Western Territory after the Louisiana Purchase. If you're getting value out of the video, do me a favor, hit your like button. I always appreciate it, and it helps YouTube share it with other people. We're continuing down this uh, trail. I'll, I'll highlight some of the um, interesting things as we go along. At this trail, uh, is about a mile and a half long. We're only going to go down about a half a mile of it. Uh, there's a right where we'll get off of the the wooden part and back onto a kind of gravel trail uh, is where we'll stop. As you see, we have a camera crew that's filming us. They'll pop in and out of the videos. The, the first thing that we're going to run into is over here on the left, there is a place where you can go down and look out over the river. So we'll go down there and Cheryl's going to take a look at that. And again, the, we really enjoyed our trip there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, your subscribe button will be red. Do me a favor. Click it. It'll change colors and that will subscribe you. Thanks a lot. We always appreciate new subscriptions. So now we're down here looking out over the river. The camera's down a little low, so you can't see quite what the view Cheryl has. And throughout this trail, we see a lot of different kinds of signage so that you can identify some of the plants, uh, some of the, the historic things that you're looking at. And for the duration of this video, I'm not stopping to, to provide that information, but we're going to um, take a look at some of this. We're going to go up here to the top and make a left turn and continue on down to where the uh, wooden walkways run out. As I said, we're going over some areas that have little streams, and a lot of it is just kind of swampy, boggy type of uh, soil underneath it, so this makes it really nice and easy. There are some places where you can get uh, turn out to get a buy if there was another scooter or another wheelchair there. You can see there's water on the right. As we approach the end of this, we're gonna get a few pictures taken as we come off of the walkway. 
And then after we do that, uh, we'll turn around and head back up. Throughout all of this, uh, Cheryl's uh, scooter performed really well. Uh, she could wear the rest of us out that we're having to walk. You'll notice that when we go to an area where it's a fairly steep climb on the way back up, she moves along very easily. And uh, it, it was a little harder for those of us that were walking, especially if you're carrying gear to go with you. We will occasionally slow down so the cameraman can get in front and get video. Again, all of this uh, video was taken to highlight the accessible things there are to do in uh, the Astoria, Oregon area. We had a really enjoyable visit. We thought Astoria was uh, very accessible. The downtown area was very accessible. Some gorgeous accessible uh, hotels and properties there, accessible restaurants, and then in the, in the parks around us, accessible trails, things to see and do. So this is where the boardwalk ends. And that sign right there says it's about one mile up to the landing. The landing was where they would bring the canoes in and out. And they built the fort up on top of the hill because it offered a better defensive position. But they're gonna run down and get some pictures of Cheryl and... Everybody's down to get pictures of Cheryl, except me. This trip was one of the few times I'm actually on camera rather than just behind the camera. Do me a favor, let me know if you've been to Astoria and what you thought, especially if uh, you had a chance to check out the accessibility. Now we're headed back up. We rejoined uh, the uh, visitor center loop and this is the part that was a little bit steep. You can get a sense of how how it is looking at the angle of the trees there. It, Cheryl had no problem with the wheel scooter. Uh, like I said, the rest of us might were huffing and puffing a little bit when we got to the top. But we're going to go up and uh, in just a couple of minutes you'll see the old fort. And it was really something. Uh, it's an actual reconstruction, same size, same construction materials, obviously much more modern. But uh, we'll go in. There is one part of it's accessible, so you'll see Cheryl take her wheel C2 in and go through one half of the fort, and we'll look at uh, the rest of the fort as well. And because this hike is a little bit steep, they have a a uh, place you can sit and catch your breath. We didn't, we just kept going. It's amazing the difference in the, in the diameter of these trees. Some of them are huge and some of them are very, very skinny. If you know somebody that liked this video, you can do me a favor and share it with them. I always appreciate it. Here's the upper end of the uh, visitor center loop. And now the fort is just right ahead of us. I'll have to stop and take a look at the, that tree trunk. Just pretty interested in the trees and all the roots that were exposed.
So we're going to go ahead and go into the fort. You'll notice it's a typical fort like you would see in the movies. Uh, they're log cabins with a stockade uh, pointed stake kind of gate to it. They do lock it at night. Uh, we were here just before closing. We had a chance to go in and take a look at it. Fort wasn't very big. It, it had sleeping quarters for a number of people. Uh, the main eating area was actually outside. We'll be able to take a look in and see. We got enough light to see in there just a little bit. There's a rear exit to the fort there as well. Now that ramp right there, we're gonna go up here in just a second and go inside and take a look inside uh, this side of the old fort. Up the ramp, pretty good bump, but not a problem. Now to me, these beds didn't look that comfortable but I'm assuming that was probably as good as you could get in those days. Chimneys to keep you warm and fireplaces. These beds were made up uh, the way they would have been. the door with the camera. I'm assuming this was uh, officer's quarters here because it had a single bunk in it. The rest of them had multiple bunks. As we come out of the fort and get ready to go outside, I hope you're enjoying this. Again, if you are, do me a favor, hit the like button. We're going to go out we're going to go around the, uh, the side of the fort, we'll go out through the gate and around the side. We'll see where the rangers give uh, talks out there about the fort and its history. So as we go along here, you'll see, like I said, on the right side, here's where the rangers give talks. This is the outside of the fork. This path will lead around to the visitor center. We won't include that in this video today. As we start to finish the video off at the very end, you'll see a box that has a playlist in it. It's something I think you'll enjoy. So if you click on it, it'll bring up the playlist. On the other side, you'll see a picture of my face. And if you click on my face and you're not subscribed, it will subscribe you. So again, check your subscribe button if it's red. Uh, click on my face and that'll fix your problem. I'll we'll stop there for just a minute so they can get some pictures. And then we're going to be off around toward the visitor center. Thank you very much.